Well, after my last car camp video that I filmed in reverse, you'll be pleased to hear that today's one will be filmed normally. Or will it? <laughs> yes, it will. And today, we're off to Sandwich. That's the car all fed. Let's go. Where we're heading to is somewhere we have kind of been to before. I mean, I think this is some kind of private golf course area, but um, yeah, there's no one. That should be a really nice park up. Now, although I'm pretty sure that I could probably car camp there, the plan is actually to park in Sandwich Town Centre. You know how sometimes when you're driving down the road and you just completely zone out, and then all of a sudden you zone back in and you wake up and you realise, how did I not crash? <laughs> Well, we are here and we have quite a nice little space tucked away in the corner. As you would have seen, there are plenty of motorhomes and vans here already. There's at least four or five, so it's obviously going to be a safe place to park. Um, the plan is to have a little look around sandwich first. Certainly what I've seen so far, it's exactly what I expected sandwich to be like, very oldie. quite like a nice old church, an old graveyard to meander through. Well this is certainly a super pleasant walk and it must be said it is so much nicer now the nights are getting lighter again. It won't be too much longer until uh, we have proper light nights. What's great is that there is no shortage of parking here whatsoever. There are loads of public car parks. On-street parking is basically free as well between I think 6 p.m. and 9 a.m. What I thought I'll do as there's still so much daylight and it's already half past four is take a little walk down to where Sandwich Bay is just to give me an idea of how I'm going to get there in the morning but this road is about two miles to get there I'm not going to walk that far now but you never know I might find somewhere better to park along the way well, I'll tell you what this is such a lovely and peaceful walk I'm annoyed to say my plan of walking to where I want to go tomorrow has been thwarted as the country lane pavement has run out and to be honest I don't really fancy walking on a no pavement country road for a mile in what will be dusk very shortly 
So that's a shame. The plan is then we're going to head back to the car now. Well, I'll tell you what, I can't believe how warm it is in the car tonight. Considering the last few car camps I've done, how cold it's been in the car. Actually, today, I'm positively roasting. For the last few car camps, I've definitely been cooking a lot better than what I have been previously. But tonight, I want to go old school. Tonight, I want... King Pot Noodle. Happy birthday to me. If you hadn't seen the community post, it was my birthday yesterday. And clearly, the advantage as well of being in a car park like this tonight where there are so many other motorhomes here is that you don't have to be too fussed about how stealthy your setup is. Of course as much as I love my pot noodles I'm sad to say I'm nowhere near as full up as I normally am. Well clearly I must be tired because post pot noodle it's only seven o'clock and I just fell asleep already. It's starting to cool down a lot now in the car, I must say, so I'm slightly more relieved because I took the duvet as well, just because it was so nice having it last time. And also I took my birthday present with me in case it was cold. My super fluffy Udi, which actually, for car camping, this will be pretty awesome. There's something I always forget to use when I go car camping and it's these little head rest chair table thingies. My wife put them in when we went car camping last time along with um, this here actually. This, I literally never used this either. This is a little, um, little storage device that goes down the side of the chair. But these are things that I've got that I never use. I always forget they're here. And actually both of these are perfect for things like coffees, putting my glasses, putting my keys the remote control to the lights I always lose. So yeah, I must get better at remembering these things are here because that's exactly why they're there. And the great thing about this, you don't even need to put it on to feel the benefit of it. It's just like a lovely, really soft blankie. Oh, it's perfect. It could be my new car camping friend. So, right people, I do need to go. So, thank you everybody from Portugal and the United Kingdom and everywhere who's popped in to say hi. Thank you for joining Chris and sorry I'm leaving as soon as you come in and we'll enjoy Canterbury tonight and enjoy your birthday tomorrow and everyone else, take care. It's quarter to 12 and I think it is time for me to go to bed. So I will see you all in the morning. No, no. On every car camp video, the thing I always have to do is to work out a good title that fits the car camp. And actually, the title that fits tonight's car camp, or yesterday's car camp, has to be a perfect car camp. Because it was perfect. In terms of last night, I slept for five solid hours. No noise, no disturbance. It is so quiet here. It's lovely. 
and this morning I've gone out, I've looked outside, it's lovely and peaceful. Everything about this car camp actually has been what I would call for me a, almost a classic car camp. I've got here in the daytime, I've had a little walk around the town, explored a bit, come back to the car, had food, had a good sleep and in the morning I've got my breakfast on, I'll have a coffee and then we'll scoot off home. I actually don't feel the need to go to the bay. Um, whilst initially, yes, that, that was the whole point of this car camp. The whole point was to go to Sandwich Bay and go for a run and um, get some sea air. Because sometimes you just really need to see the sea and just chill out. But actually being here last night and actually having the night's sleep I had, I feel so refreshed. Actually, what I'll do, I'll put a link up to where here to where this park up is on park for night because if you're ever in sandwich and i highly recommend coming here hopefully you'll have as peaceful a night as i've had but it is a really nice town it is worth visiting i mean i've got no idea how much the town i actually walked around last night i'll have to look at my strava map and that'll give me an idea in fact i'll put that up here so you can see how much i actually did and there are loads of walks around here. There's canal walks, there's the Saxon Shore Way. So actually it's a really good base if you're a walker. So if you just fancy a mellow car camp and a walk, come to Sandwich. And the biggest thing to recommend from this car camp equipment wise has to be the Udi. This has been so amazing. Hmm. Not a bad one. Only takes a minute and hot water. Can't remember where it came from though. But in terms of the plan for this morning, it is now ten past eight and I had to pay for parking here yesterday for the couple of hours when I got here. I think that was only four pound. But um the parking essentially runs out two minutes past nine. So I think the plan is really I'm gonna eat this drink this coffee, um, pack up, then probably shoot home. I often do those, this is why I car camp moments. But I think this is safe to say, this is <laughs> one of those moments where this is why I car camp. I've had my breakfast, I've got a cup of coffee next to me. I'm in a super quiet car park. There's no noise other than birdsong. And I am the, the epitome of relaxed right now. And I've still got a half hour just to lie here, relax, chill out. And I think the thing for me is I don't even tend to watch Netflix in these kind of moments. It's nice just to relax. Completely relax, nothing to do, obviously other than talking to you, but otherwise nothing to do, just laying down, chilling out. Well, that's me all done. That's the car all packed away and I am ready to go home. So I hope you've enjoyed this car camping adventure and until next time, take care.